let's start with the header tags. Inside the header, for the navigation at the top, we're going to use the nav tag. And then inside that, we're going to make a list. Now we haven't gone over lists yet, but there's two main types of lists. There's an ordered list, which is numbered, and there's an unordered list, which is bulleted. We're just gonna use an unordered list, and I'll show you how this works in a second. For each list item, we're gonna use li tag for list. So list item number one is the user's name. I'm just gonna put my name, Gwendolyn, and close that list. The list item is closed here. If it doesn't automatically type it, you can just type it with a forward slash. Item number two is Gmail. Then item number three is the images, is the images link. Great. So you can see their bulleted points unstyled here. We're going to style those later and get rid of the points. It's just a very easy way to make navigation is with a list. So for the next section in the main content, we see there's a search box and there's the two buttons, Google search and I'm feeling lucky. First of all, in the main section, we have the image, which is the Google logo. So we're going to put a placeholder here for now because we haven't gotten the image yet. So let's just put an image tag here, which the source is just going to be the file path once we get the image, but we don't have it yet. So I'm just going to leave that blank. So that's just to let us know that we're going to put an image there later but it's not going to take up any space in the browser yet. So for the search box below that, we're going to put an input tag and the type of our input is just going to be text, which people will be typing text into their searches. If I had something else like number, it would only allow numbers to be typed in. There's several others like email you can use as well. I'm just going to put some placeholder text here. I'll show you what this is in a second. The placeholder will be search dot dot dot. And then you can see over here it's grayed out. And when you click on it, you know, and type, it just goes over it. it just lets people know what the box is for. It's not mandatory to put a placeholder. It is good for the user. For the two buttons, we're going to put more input tags, but this time our type is going to be submit. It's going to come out as a button and our value will be on the first one will be Google search. And that's the value or the text that goes inside the button. You can see it says Google search. The next one is another input with type of submit. And the value is I'm feeling lucky, which is just like the Google page. I just want to point out one thing really quick here is that we've been using single quotes this whole time, but here you can see the code editor acts funny when we add a single quote. It's because the I'm is a contraction and so the code editor thinks or the HTML thinks that you're done with the quote after you put the contraction in I'm when you really want everything to be in quotes. So how do you fix this? You can use double quotes instead of single quotes anywhere. Most people use single quotes just because it's easier and it, it's exactly the same. But here we're going to need to use double quotes. So you can see when we start with a double quote at the beginning, we can use our contraction with a single quote because HTML is no longer looking for a single quote to end the value, but they're looking for a double quote. We can have as many single quotes as we want inside of this and it won't count. So now we have the main part of our page done and now we just have the bottom links. So we're going to use like we did before in the footer. We're going to put more unordered lists. First one, first list item will have advertising and then business and then about and then we're going to close that unordered list. And we're going to make another one, privacy, and then we're going to do terms and settings. So that's pretty much it for the outline of the page. I know it doesn't look like much yet. There's no styling involved, but that's basically how you structure a page in HTML. 
And this is how web pages used to look like way back when, before there was a lot of styling involved in pages. But now we have something called CSS to style the page, which we're going to start learning about in the next videos. Mm -hmm.